Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Kai X Limitless. And we back with another one. And we're talking about Evo and Karuchi, right? So it looks like Karuchi is kind of shooting her shot at Quavo. You know who that's going to piss off, right? Um, Chris Brown, right? So Quavo and Chris Brown had a long, you know, beef. You know what I'm saying? There's like a lot of tension going on. Um, and it was pretty obvious you know, that it was still beef and tension going on when they were in Paris at a fashion show and they accidentally you know somehow ended up having seats next to each other and you know it was very awkward right just another thing that's gonna you know pretty much reignite the beef so uh Quavo posted a picture to his Instagram saying lunch with Quay Z or take the cheese right so basically it's a play on the Jay-Z you know 500k um or dinner with jay-z meme right so he's saying would you take money would you take 500k or dinner with quavo and then karuchi gets in the comments and she says she will take the cheese right so people could be just reading extra into it but you know because that she responded people are saying like you know this is like flirting with quavo and just wants to you know get a reaction out of quavo which it possibly you know it could be and you know but that's the number one way to pretty much get under Chris Brown's skin and have him hate you is by, you know, have anything dealing with Karuchi, right? So, you know, Chris Brown and Quavo beef, it goes way back. So, so check this out. So one of the longstanding beefs in the industry today going on is the tension between Chris Brown and Quavo. The two have gone from, you know, gone from social media jabs to public altercations. Many wonder why the beef started. Conflicts between celebrities are not new, but this one keeps popping out of the woods yeah so basically what i'm saying is don't be surprised if you catch you know quavo and chris brown fighting again because they always are the chris brown quavo beef is evidently still very much alive um so the karuchi chan connection before this tension chris brown and quavo were friends they collaborated on many tra tracks including chris brown's whipping and migos just for the night furthermore two had good things to say about each other in interviews however things turned sour in 2017 when a conflict arose the root of the conflict between chris brown and quavo can be traced back to their intertwining personal lives both have romantic history with karuchi tran chris brown and karuchi had dated in the early 2000s and shared an on and off romance again that was until karuchi hit brown with a restraining order in 2017 however a month earlier Karuchi had sparked dating rumors with Quavo. She and Quavo were spotted leaving Migos Mississippi concert together. Although she nor Quavo confirmed the rumors, Chris Brown clearly was not a fan. Uh, Brown felt like he was betrayed and believes his friend had backstabbed him. So uh, all of this, you know, the previous beef with Chris Brown and uh, Quavo started all because of Karuchi, right? Saying, you know, you you broke the uh you broke the bro code and you know what i'm saying you went behind my back and picked up uh my ex she said making him look like a chump and just like that the feud was on again so the bet awards after party in june 2017 um it looks like you know there was a certain fight between quavo and chris brown's team right so the public nature of their beef soon set the stage for a public and intense dispute tensions between a boiling point in june when chris brown and quavo found themselves in the same venue reports surfaced that brown and migo's crew had a confrontation in the parking lot the entire incident ended rather uneventfully as eventually everyone departed from the scene without anybody getting hurt and then uh chris brown challenges quavo to a basketball match so years after the feud began, Chris Brown reunites the flame with a basketball match. Chris Brown took to social media to call out both rappers. They both know not to ask for a two on two. I could have cooked Quavo and Jack on my soul. Guess they didn't want no smoke. Without missing a beat, Quavo accepted the challenge. Chris Brown ain't cooking nothing. Call the next nigga he wrote. Like clockwork, Chris Brown respond. No next. I'm up now. Set it up, little nigga. You know, you know this work different, right? So it's a little trash talking, right? And then 
in 2024, you know what I mean? They were awkwardly sat next to each other in the in the fashion show, right, in, in, in Paris. And, you know what I'm saying, uh, Chris Brown said pretty much that he don't like this nigga, right? He's saying that, uh, you know, um, I don't know who set these seats up, you know what I mean? Because I never sit next to Quavo, right? So he made it, you know, Chris Brown made it real clear that, you know what I'm saying, he don't really he don't really rock with Quavo like that, right? I just think it's crazy that, you know what I'm saying, that they were all good, you know what I mean? They were brothers collaborating. They were real cool up until, you know, Quavo uh, was dating Karuchi, right? And that goes to show you, man, maybe, you may, maybe Quavo was in the wrong, right? You know, messing with somebody's ex is pretty much a uh, a trigger point for most men, right? How could you be, you know, me running around with your with your man's ex, right? And still expect to be cool with him, right? So let me know what y'all think in the comment box. You know, this was very poor timing, right? Meaning that this is coming fresh off of Chris Brown saying he don't like this nigga, and now you about to, you know, reignite with Karuchi again. You know, so like I said, just expect some more altercations. And Quavo and Chris Brown, they're going to be in the same places often, right? They're, you know what I mean? A lot of people say that Quavo fell off. But, man, you know, he's he's still, you know, one of the biggest artists in the world, right? People are sleeping on Quavo right now. I think he put out a put out a pretty good single recently. You know, didn't get a lot of views on it. But, you know, he's still in the game, right? And he just had the song with Future. So I don't know why people are, you know, playing Quavo like he's just totally washed up. But since Takeoff died, they're for sure not as big as they were. The Migos and, you know, I don't know the last time they really collaborated. So if you really think about it, the Migos is pretty much over with. You know, it's just uh, Quavo and Offset solo careers, right? So, you know, what I mean, it makes you really do think that is Quavo a backstabber because something like this also happened with Quavo and Offset, right? So is Offset, you know what I mean, just snaking out everybody, getting out all the boys that he was cool with, right? So let me know what y'all think in the comment box. Appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Like the video, subscribe, we gone.